Cowboys get their first win in a month, their first road win of the season with a 31-28 victory over the Vikings Sunday. Welcome into Cowboys today alongside Mickey Spagnola. I'm Danny Sarek from the Star in Frisco. It's taken some time to get there, but we finally saw some complimentary football by the Cowboys. Mickey, a balanced offense, a stout defense. Overall, what impressed you most about the Cowboys' performance? Yeah, exactly. And gosh, it seems like it's been two months since they won a game, but it has been a right at a month and yeah I think the thing the Cowboys did in this game is they played complimentary football just the way Danny said uh, they got takeaways on defense and the offense turned them into scores actually a touchdown for a change and a field goal and then when the defense faltered the offense came back and went down and overcame deficit three times in the game. So Danny, I think this is kind of funny. There's a lot of people out there that first accused the Cowboys of quitting. Then they wanted them to quit because they wanted a better draft choice. And now this is a team that would not quit in this game. You just can't win, can you? Sometimes? No, absolutely. <laughs> Short week for the Cowboys. They host the Washington football team for some Thanksgiving football on Thursday. Vicki, last time these two teams met, it was a 25-3 victory for Washington. And this is an important divisional matchup for the Cowboys. Yeah, absolutely. If you can believe this, after the Cowboys just pushed their record to 3-7 and seven with two of the other teams in the league and only a half game behind the Philadelphia Eagles on Thursday when the Cowboys play Washington. The winner of that game is going to be in first place in the NFC East, if you can believe it. So if the Cowboys think they're going to pull out of this hole, no better time to start than on Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Cowboys and the Washington football team. For Mickey Spagnola, I'm Danny Serac.